Then Clear you sent me your song. Hold on. So I was like, uh-uh, I don't even want to talk to him now. You know what I mean? I was in my feelings. I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, mm, mm But then he sent me the song where you was talking about how you didn't do Say, it on, and stuff like that. I'm and then I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, all right, all right. So he's okay. really a stand-up so dude. That's oh, right. Oh, us and those who followed your career for years to say, what the fuck was that baby mama drama at the highest level or or what the um, fuck was that nah, it wasn't baby mama drama at all um she was actually it just it was just young people at the end of the day and right. her mother and her mother who is still right. a pain in the ass um, <laughs> but at the end of the day it was two young people that didn't really know how to handle a situation and everything got blown out of proportion the mom did something that she regrets. Everybody regretted that whole situation. You know what right. I'm saying? Be, being a public figure, you know what I mean? Like you out there, people know you. And yeah. then to go through that, how did it make you feel? Like, did you like, did um, it like stress you out? What you, did you think you was going to lose fans for it? Dramatic as fuck. It, it changed me forever. I'll, I'll never be the same. That single event has made me very um, distrusting. I don't right. think do. I stay out of the limelight. I used to, before that, I was a firecracker. I was, I wanted to be on every, in front of every camera, wilding, just tupac in it. I was just ready to be that guy. I was really preparing myself to be that guy in hip hop. When that happened, it was humbling because it made me be like, whoa, I don't want none of this. Like everybody had, had an opinion and it was mean. It was mean as hell. I was reading shit like, I hope he get raped in jail. And, and yeah, because when I seen it, when I looked you up, I'm like, oh, I know who he is. Yeah, I know. Okay. And then I see that because I didn't know that part. I was like, ah, I see. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> and, and see, and uh -uh. The thing is, it just, it also, because before that, I was one of those people that would judge people who was on TV all the time. Anything I read, right. or saw, I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker did that shit or she did that shit. Never once did I ever consider maybe it wasn't true, ever. It was all, yeah. you seen this shit? That shit really made me be like, Okay, this shit tricky. Hey, peace. I want to um, I want to bring Jamie to speed because Jamie probably doesn't know. Um, Jamie, uh, in case you don't know what what me and Juicy are talking about, he was accused in like 2011 or some shit like that. Eleven? Uh, was yeah. it eleven? Maybe I think it was nine. Two thousand nine. Okay, two thousand. That's what I read. Yeah, they tried to say he, he he assaulted his daughter, some broken ribs, but she was a baby though. They they was trying to say that he did oh, that. that. In the no, body I know, pass. <laughs> huh? I, that's not even funny, but it's, I, it's I know weird. all about him. You said you, you you said you what? I said I know all about him. Okay, I didn't know if you seen that uh, that 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 particular story. So you know what I mean, just to bring you up to speed. But yeah. Yeah. I knew all the time that you know I know Keith for years, and I, I I've never known him to be you know, violent, especially towards kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I heard it, it was cat because I said to myself, like, you know, Keese is a, is a, he has a big heart. He wants to be successful at all costs. I can't see him doing something like that to somebody that he loves and jeopardize his future and everything he worked for. Because I know he comes from a real tough circumstance. You know, he, he's moved around all his life. He was 16 going on 35. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you <laughs> met him, the nigga used to wear big clothes and he was like, <laughs> uh, everybody wore big clothes. Yeah, everybody wore big clothes. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Because you're a little <laughs> you were short at that time. So you always he's had still a still short. He not he's still I'm short. Right. I'm just I'm saying. saying. I'm I'm saying. saying. Inches now. What you what you reigning in right now? You about five. How tall are you now? Same height, my nigga. Ain't no taller. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying I'm to tall. put a little respect on you, you grown man. Okay. Stay. All right, you so know, I got a question. He's talking about height. He has a, he has, Kevin has a, some issue with height. You know, he don't want no girl taller than him. Like, he just got I like tall women. Every woman who I've, damn, they've been with besides my baby mothers were tall, are taller than me. Every single woman. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, to, they gonna treat to be. They're going to be a little different. You in Hollywood, man. They, gonna, they don't care about you know, I like, I like <laughs> American shit with tall women. I like the way they're They're going to pick you up. <laughs> they're going to pick him up. Like, <laughs> All right, so let's bring this back, right? So years down the road, t trouble continued to, you know, follow you. And you went to the federal penitentiary for four years. Do you care to discuss what, like, 
yeah, we the situation, talk, what happened. Um, All right, so pull us in. Let us know. You know, I so, used to be a correction officer. So just they, saying. Um, I got tired of some shit. Was getting some money. I liked it a lot, a whole fucking lot. This is Fast money. I'm not gonna let you say what was you doing? You was in the A. Was you scared? <laughs> was you scared? Credit oh, card fraud. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wow. So you was getting big money then. Yeah, we was getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting it in, I should say. I was getting it in. Damn. Yeah. Oh so, man. More than I was getting acting. And at the time I was on the walking dead and I was making good money. Okay. And I was like, this shit better. <laughs> I'm telling you, 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 can take, you can take them out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of them, huh? That's going to be, this is going to be the clip that I throw around YouTube when it says, I was on Walking Dead, but scamming money was better. <laughs> what? Oh, quick, so, all right, so can you tell us, I mean, not to be, obviously you're not proud of that, but it's a learning experience, because you well, did you, how much yeah. were you making like a week on that? I, I, it depends on how hard I wanted to work. But if I wanted to actually work hard, about seven thousand a day. So I don't know. Dude, we wasn't counting. That shit. Yeah, you were just getting all the money. Damn. And then not only that, like if you include all the free shit, like not the money that was made, but the free shit, like just flying to wherever the fuck I wanted whenever I wanted. I'm. I remember one time I stayed at the Bellagio here in Vegas, where my house is at now. <laughs> It was during, I went to the Floyd Mayweather and he fought Ortez. Fight like fucking George, uh, Frank Lucas, my nigga. I was in that bitch <laughs> hotel. Saying, I was there when uh, Fabulous and Jadakiss had that little altercation right there. Kevin oh, Hart. you was right there? Right there. That's that's what that shit did for me. Like, was that <laughs> I had all the backstage passes. What'd you say? I'm in a hotel with Jadakiss smoking a blunt. Him and uh, Killer Touch. What'd you say? I said, was it Fab and Jadakiss with the altercation or Fab and nah, Ray J? It was Fab and Ray J. Fuck. All right, cool. I was there. The whole, the whole shit. And my the little chick I was rocking with was the one who took the uh, video. Wow. <laughs> what? That's and funny. Her. And I That's brought funny. the bitch with me. And she and she also told on my case, oh, by the way, she was an informant. Yeah. How you doing, Maya? Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, you want to say, how you doing, Maya? Oh, you better not lie. <laughs> You better not lie. But you learn your lesson, I like, right? I like your energy. I like your energy right See? now. Absolutely. Yes, I'm loving it. I absolutely learned my lesson. Yeah. Shit, I never go back. I never went back, and I will never go back to nobody's jail ever. Right. Yeah, right. It's not where it's at. I was a correction officer for three years. It's not where it's at. <laughs> I'm too intelligent. I got too much to do. Too many you lives. Definitely do. To save, right. to help. I have what no time. To do it was gonna be. Hmm? Was jail what you thought? It was, well, prison was that it what you? Th hell, that shit was That's a hell. good question. I was gonna ask him the same thing. That shit was hell. I didn't. First of all, I thought the worst, and it was worse than what I thought. Mm. But but how come they say the feds? When you they say niggas with money go to the feds, and the feds is a better lifestyle than going to state. Yeah, they, it, it is. It, they it think they entitled too. It wasn't an MCC Manhattan or MDC Brooklyn either. Yeah, where did you go? <laughs> I went to Brooklyn and Manhattan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you went to the detention center out there. Yeah, yeah I heard. I, yeah. I heard it. Yeah, that shit. Out, but yeah. if, if your crime was in your crime was in, in New York, I was everywhere. We was in New oh, York. So, oh, so you got charged in New York? That's why you went to to the feds in yeah. New York, bitch ass. Well, you know, I'm my, not my man's. My man Low, he my co-defendant too. The other right. little punk ass nigga, he he is informing as well. He told on both of us. Um, okay. But he the one that did the dumb shit. And we went to jail. <laughs> so then, so, uh, so all right, knowing that obviously they were informants, like, do you have a hard time trusting people now because of, because of that? Because of them two oh. things that we just discussed. Yeah. We already said that. Yeah. No, I'm saying, with yeah. this, who, oh, I didn't hear that. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I don't trust myself yesterday. Uh, right. <laughs> um. All right, so what's the pros and cons of you acting? Like, now that your career is like, you know, like booming and you, I'm not gonna say you're at the top of your career because I, you know, you're only 34. I so. think I'm just getting started, honestly. Right. I'm, just, I'm getting ready to do, I'm about to do this Elijah Muhammad movie. 
Um, okay. I think that's going to be life changing. I got to trim down, actually. I actually have to lose weight. Ain't that some shit? Lose weight? What? Hey, well, your head going to fall off your neck. You right. Your that thing going to be. <laughs> he was smaller than me, though. He was huh? much smaller than me. Elijah Muhammad was a lot smaller. Okay. Uh, wow. But I can like, see you. I can see you doing that role because. Got to trip on everything, everything, bro. Look. You, you favor him. The crib yeah. is nice, too. I see a pool out there, too. Thank you, man. That's a blessing, man. I know we come from sleeping in the studio, man. Yeah, we're just born sleeping. I remember, I remember uh, Chrome and them came in one day and somebody, not Chrome, but one of the girls they was with made a joke like, don't lay on there, that's that's Keyson bed. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, wait to get on. <laughs> right, right, right. So what's, the, so what's the pros and cons of acting? I don't think there's any cons. Um, no. Nah. Okay. I love it. I love every piece of it. Too much well, like, do you love? Do you love it more than rapping? No. Good question. No. no absolutely not. I love really? it. So are happy. you still making music? I got. I'm in a group now. It's called Pool Boys. Me and my brother Dre P. He was on a show called Bad Girls Club. He was fucking all the girls on the Bad Girls Club. Right. Hold on. I'm a big fan of the Bad Girls Club, so I might know who you're talking about. They can call him Andre. Dre P. We got a group called Pool Boys. I do okay. know who you're talking about. Yes, that's my oh, album. man. Just shot our first video. It's on my Instagram and all that. We got an album about to come out called Sons of the Mac. Right. Okay. We so you said pool right boys? now called Nervous Pool Boys. boys? Yep. As in, like everywhere I live is like pool. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> pool baby. <laughs> all right. Now the reason why um, Jamie asked you about the pros and the cons because I remember you told me a long time ago you was like Graham. This acting shit ain't really what it's like early in your career. You was like, nigga, I work at Applebee's and I'm on TV, nigga. And that was different then. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just telling you, like, I And that's I, why I was doing doing what I was doing too, because I wasn't getting no money like that then. Right. When you start out, you getting paid crumbs. I mean, you gotta really work your way up. There is no, I mean, some people blow up overnight. I didn't have that that experience. I still don't. I right. still I can't hear. I still got to fight for every role I get because all that past stuff still comes up. So okay. I right. got to go that, you know, like it came up with you. I still got to go that much harder to show people, you no, know, I'm serious about this. Right. Yeah. You know, anything yeah. but my talent. Okay. You got it consistent, I guess. Nah, it just started getting good. Like, bro, up until like when I do the pains, 2018, up until then, it was a struggle. Like I had, I had to have a hundred hustles. And then yeah. go back to that, you know what I'm saying? But it hasn't right. been that way for the past couple of years, thank God. Yeah. Right. I, I want to let you know, man, and then you know, we got like one more one or two more questions. But yeah. I want to let you know that when I put the flyer up, it's a lot Yo, of niggas. Peak, man, this up. thing, I thought this was gonna be tough. Oh no, 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 no. See, my thing is this though. We ask the right questions. <laughs> we talk about MTV, we address your daughter's situation. You know, these are things that people want to know what's going on with Keyson right now. They want to know, have you, have you, um, have you, uh, you know, got through those, those, tra those tragedies and, and came out on top. And I believe you did because segue into this question, you're on one of the number one hit shows in the world right now, which is Snowfall. 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 I love Snowfall. Snowfall. Uh, hey. hey. Bro, you heard? Oh, John, man. Shout out to John. I'm, I'm glad that my brother is on that show. So tell me, how did you land that role, bro? Kim Coleman, I think it was. I hope it wasn't the other Kim. No, it was Kim Coleman. Kim <laughs> Coleman, she's a casting director in LA. She really is the one who casted me in all the big stuff that I've got. Kim Coleman. Right. Um, she just looks, she looked me out, man. She told me in the audition, she said, kill this. And when I walked in, the casting director was like, I mean, uh, the producer was like, we like it. At first I, I auditioned for the role of uh, Franklin, right? Got all the way up to see John Singleton, and he just went in another direction. And I love his choice. I think Damson yeah. is a hell of a talent, and I think he worked well as that character. So okay. I like that. I like it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a relationship with Franklin? Like, do y'all talk or or he? Um, he just... Nah, not not really. I mean, nah. I don't really talk to nobody, man. It's only a few people I really like stay in touch with. That's my man, uh, Kwame. Who okay. I played it both with. He right. also did some consulting on BMF. That's my dog. Um, I only talk Malik, my nigga Malik, Manny Haley, Jeremy okay. Meek. That's my brother. That's it. I don't talk to nobody else, bro. 
Right. So it's business with you. You go do your job and you leave. When I see them, it's love. Like I got love for all of them. Like yeah. uh, I'm in all of them. It's always love. I just right. don't really be like kick. I be in my own world. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, that's what's up. All right. Okay. So um, last question I got for you, man. Do you miss Jersey, man? Do you like LA? I mean, yeah. LA, I miss it's- LA. Yeah. Do you miss- <laughs> Yeah, you know what's crazy? Um, I just never stopped working. So before I knew it, I always, I always planned on coming back home and then 15 years went by. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Right, right. Home is not home no more. You know, it wasn't- You ain't missing nothing out here. Was. I came back, I'll be up there. I'll be up there, bro. i just be ducking, I'll be in and out. I'll be like, uh, right. Right. sticking my move. You know what I mean? I go see my family and I get the fuck out of it. You know? Right. So what you saying that? Huh? Oh. I was gonna say, do you um do you pour back like into the community? Do people like about that? Are you like a Absolutely. you know they, once you make it you out? Uh, I'm tied into the right people, so I so I can get the right things done in my neighborhood. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's they know, dope. and I never had a problem, you know, coming back home because of that. I ain't never stopped That's what's up. my neighborhood. But we do. All right, it all. so all right, last question. What's what's Keyshawn's top five MCs right now in the game? Who you fucking with, man? This going to take us out of here. All right, give me a second. I need a second for this one. This is an important question. Top five. Top five. He hoping his name uh, in there. I like I'm, Benny. I'm, Number one, I'm Benny. Underground, man. Underground, I'm, I'm, I'm dirt. Number one, I, Benny. <laughs> in the game. I said Benny, nigga. Number one. <laughs> okay, so oh, I'm surprised at that because when wow. you went to A, you I had never hear. stop. Yeah, I, I always I'm like Jay Z, nigga. Y'all ain't even that. Yeah, Benny the Benny. Butcher. Oh, that's I like number Benny. Oh. I like Benny um, the Butcher. Little baby, definitely. Really? I, I'm Are you top so. five though? Right now, yeah. Baby. Benny, I'm well. Okay. Little baby, um. What's that kid, man? He's young. I fuck with That's this kid. It's not Poo Shifey. Poo Shifey. I don't listen to nobody right now but Poo Shifey. I swear to God. <laughs> right. Nothing All else. Right. right now is only Poo. Um, right. Shit. I'm going to put me at number four. Fuck that. <laughs> OK, L. Ain't nothing, no, ain't nothing right. wrong All right. for yourself. All right, so hold up. <laughs> let's, let's be clear. We got Benny the Butcher, we got Pooh Shiesty, we got Little Baby, and we got Keyside, Marquise yes, Moore, yes, and who sir. else? Graham, he's not going to say you. Sorry, Graham. Oh, Graham, no, what's up? Graham, I need, I need to hear some music, Graham. I ain't heard no music, man. <laughs> you, he is not on your list. Let's just oh, say it. Said, my number five is an artist out of New Jersey, though. His I'm a name Jersey A-Biz. Huh? His name A-Biz. A-Biz? A-Biz. A-Biz. Hey, hey Biz. Biz, I never heard of him. Niggas, the, probably the best under, under, you say underground, underground yeah. rap in New Jersey. Hey, Biz, and he, and he, he from what, what side of the Where he from? From Brunswick. From Brunswick. Oh, yeah. God, he, he, he's, up. He says, you better not lie, you being biased on my, on my platform. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, put my money up, I'll put my money up with him and anybody from New Jersey. Uh-oh, that's, that's bad so guess me. what I'm going to do. That's a big deal. I want to go tap in and see what he, because if he hot, I want to get him on the show, bro. Yeah. If he hot, you said hot. Like, so hot, nigga. He hotter than, I mean, honestly, he hotter than me, but I ain't going to put nobody before me. He just tapped in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. in. And the message that he coming with is consistent, and I can't rap that no more. You know right, what I'm right. I got my little, I got my lane. I like it. What he's doing is, is, is fresh okay. in that world. I like it. Hey, bitch. Okay. All right, listen, you out, you out in Vegas. I had to ask you this. Have you ran into Danny Lay yet? Because, like, in L.A., you know, because you be in Cali and Vegas. Have you she ran into... Oh, boy. boy. I, I saw her a few times, and she was with um, Oh, boy. The baby? So, wasn't really nothing yet. I think really you got to shoot your shots. It, it's, I would it, definitely it, shot my shot, but I got my <laughs> eyes on... I got my whoa, whoa. <laughs> I got my eyes on Holly Berry. On who? Holly, Holly Berry? What? Are you... <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, their kids. I'm going after Holly, so I'm, going just, Holly. I'm gonna stay in my you lane. Had a get a baby. Give me a, a bigger house close to Holly. You find out what neighborhood <laughs> she lives in. <laughs> right. 
get a little closer. I'm gonna get Holly, man. She like twice. Oh man. I don't care. It's just she's fucking Holly Berry. She is. <laughs> she's she's definitely beautiful. All that. right, yo. Let, let the streets know what you got coming for 2020, yeah. 21, 22, and then we out of here. What up, though? So Pool Boys album coming uh 420. First video coming 420. We got a single out right now called uh Nervous. It's dope as fuck. It's for the ladies. So ladies okay. tap in. Fellas okay. tap in. I'm trying to figure out what the ladies is tapping into. So yeah, it's right. called Pool Boys Nervous. Okay. And um, any I know you're gonna be in the BMF movie. That's uh, Fifty Cent. Oh, we ain't even talk about that, yo. How you gonna cut me off? We ain't talk about that. Nah, nah, because you you threw a Go jab. Go ahead, let us hear it now. You know how y'all actors be, right? Y'all don't want to give up your next play. So I was trying nah, to. Nah, we good. So this time around, it was more so like let them audition. You know what I mean? I got the audition. I bodied that shit. I still got the right. tape. One day when I'm able, I'm gonna put the tape out. Cause that audition tape, my nigga, yeah, yeah best. Oh, so we I, need to see that then. Ever. So let me ask you this: Are you playing a jail role, or like, are you? I'm in not in jail. jail. Um, I'm in the streets. He a killer. He a gangster. He, you know. And and the thing about this shit is a true story. So, like, it's just it's different, man. This whole vibe is just different. It's like the Black Godfather. This is our what? shit. This wow. show is gonna be bigger than power. And I'm shooting to say Snowfall. The way they setting this shit up is really wow. good. Wow. Sure. I'm proud to know. I'm just proud. Just pick up the phone when I, I call. I got you. lucky, bro. I'm, no, I'm don't pick up the phone so he can get some twat. It's, it's nothing. Not we ain't nowhere with it. Don't no, pick up I the say. phone. Cause when that BMF shit hit, bro, I'm in the hey, bro. don't to... pick up the phone, Kisan. Don't pick up man. the phone. Hey, you see this shit though, bro? The way they got me, you gonna be like, oh, alright, cause this. He's out of here. Yeah, bro. He's out of here. Tasha Smith is director. She pulled me to the side a few times. She was like, nigga, you about to be Joe Pesci. You about to be like the black Joe Pesci. They shooting this Dang. shit like a bomb movie, man. It's different. That's, it's that's different. a good that, That's a good look for you there, my man. Best work. It's my best work so far. Word is gone. I'm proud of you. And you young, so the future is bright, man. Like, you Thank know, you. I'm proud that you came home from prison and you jumped right back in that acting shit like it was nobody's business, man. I'm proud of you, man. Like, it, you you showing you showing everybody that was in our circle that perseverance, dedication, persistence, all of that shit matters. Like, cause you had so many chances for it to be over for you. You know what I'm saying? If I gave up at any point, it would have been over because every right. I had any reason to be like, you see, this happened, so this is why I didn't make it. <laughs> right. I'm just really crazy, bro. Like, ain't nothing. I would never quit ever, ever. Right. Ain't nothing quit me going in my life. I don't care I what I go. Rappers need to hear, you know? Right. Yeah, you just can't quit. You, you can't ever quit. It's going to look bad. I keep going. About the thing about it is, I think they prematurely talked about me because I really wasn't popping. And they right. put, you know, on TMZ, made it look all bad. So now I know to stay away from that block. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody want to go to that block, huh? <laughs> so I just stay the fuck out their way. I don't, I don't go looking for attention. I do my shit. I go home and y'all watch me on TV. <laughs> right. So okay. currently, how many kids do my boy have right now? Because I stopped counting. Me? Yeah. I'm about to have my last little kid. That's it. I'm not doing it no more. So that would be one, two, three, four, God damn. Five. I had Woo, I told, baby. Hold five. on. Wait. Hold on. I got a question. Yeah. How many baby moms do you yeah. have? Yeah. Get it. Be clear. I have an ex-wife. I was married. Okay. So you was married. And but how many baby mothers? Two baby mothers and one ex-wife. So three uh, baby moms. No, <laughs> we call it the ex-wife and baby mom. That's, 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 that's not bad for Nick Hollywood at all. Yeah, that's you why. Like, that's I, not I, bad. I, I, I want to have kids right now. That's why I need a Holly Berry this round. Yeah. I, 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 Holly I'm, Berry, you don't, you don't need a Holly Berry. I'm ready for a Holly Berry. I need a woman who can't have no more kids. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need a fertile all over the world. Fertile so you just, you just done. You ain't having no more kids. What if you meet this great girl and she don't have no kids and she be like, she say she want, I want a baby. I want a baby. That's, what, hey, honestly, that's what's been happening. That's why I'm single for the most part because that's what's been happening. These girls, they be want to have babies and I don't want it. And this girl, fuck. <laughs> 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 Gotta this be last bad. Girl got me. She got me. She bad. Right? <laughs> That she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh, you trying to get to get on your goddamn 
Uh, I'm uh, smarter now, brother. I'm way smarter now. Huh? I'm way smarter now. She's going to be my best friend. We'll never right. have That's I'm what it is. That's what it is. Uh, my nigga Young Keese, man, I appreciate you. I told somebody that I would get on the call with them at nine. I would never rest you because you way more man, popular. Call them then. Call them while we on the line. Who? Call them. There we go. Let them know. Keystone. Nah, nah, nah. It's in your business. <laughs> it's another Zoom, bro. I can't even put y'all. That's all good. good. It's love. Bro. Thank you for having me, man. I love you. I'm going to drop this shit in a couple days. We're going to chop and bag it. I'm going to make sure I tag you in it. All we ask is that you share a little clip. Absolutely. Get to our goal of 1,000 1, subscribers on YouTube, man. We're trying to monetize. You feel me? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Are you following? Are you following? I don't know. I don't be on social media like that. Oh, yeah. All right, well, listen, this is the time. You go on social media, you follow all of us, and you better <laughs> not lie. Right. And, and you, and you Greg, tag us. You put me on the wrong page, I think. I mean, I still be on that page, but I don't be on that page. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I got to find the right page, because which one is it? The one with the blue check. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so listen. Give me a favor. <laughs> one with the blue check that's the one i need because i ain't gonna lie i went to your followers and i said my man ain't got no people, what's crazy fuck about that shit bro i really don't and my people are always like you should do this you on should TV, do that. Man. i'm like why do i have to do that if you too busy on tv that's why yeah but you got want the attention okay. that shit is weird yeah. that instagram will bring another check too you feel me they can have yep. a check yeah. you make them and congrats all right well listen help help us get a check <laughs> <laughs> All right, no doubt. I can do that. Help us get a check. Right. I'm about to get one doing this podcast. All these celebrities. Right. And stuff. As Come soon up. as you share us, we're going to get more <laughs> celebrities. So <laughs> we need you. <laughs> and listen. Right, who I got to follow please. before he try to hang up on us? All right, no, no, you no. got to no, follow. At Juicy Jalene underscore. At Juicy underscore Jalene. Okay, you know my Instagram, Graham? Juicy underscore curves. Let's see if he knows mine. Wait, underscore what? Jaleen. J A O E E N. J A L E E N. Oh, that's me. I see me. There we go. I see you. Yeah, you on there. Follow, and then go follow James yeah. at Jamia's Way. It's J A M I A M. It's J A M I A S W A Y. W A Y. Graham, you're making me proud right now. You know our Instagram. Right. Oh, man. I try to promote y'all, but don't make me say it. <laughs> don't even get me started. Right. Don't get me started on this on, with right. in front of Kisan. Are right. we not going to do it? Keep our family business. <laughs> hey, check it out. Family I'm gonna business. I'm about to get off this interview with the better, you better not lie podcast. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. It's been right there. This shit was lit. That's what it is. Hey, peace. I love you once again, man. Interview it was BF. a pleasure meeting you. That's Yo, right, too, man. This was fun. We gotta do it again after BMF come out. No, I'm gonna yes, tell you for sure. Got, when you come to Jersey, pull up to our show, our real show. Yes. All right, that's a bet. Yes. Pop, pop some bottles and celebrate. Yeah, cool, man. You feel me? Absolutely. Salute, bro. Love, bro. One. Yeah. Yeah.